In this video, I'm going to talk about creating custom fields in Google Data Studio. In this case, I have a taxi data set, which I got off BigQuery. So this is millions and millions of rows, and I've got for each fare, there's a fare total and there is a taxi company. I just want to show you this list here. So this is the documentation from uh, Looker Data Studio on the different aggregations and the syntax used and what they do. I'm only going to go through six or seven on this video, but this this is a full complement of all possible um, functions we can use when when creating custom fields. So we've got arithmetic, we've got aggregation, we have um, conditional, which I'll be using a lot today. We have date functions, which I'm going to cover in another video. We've got geo functions. We've got a couple of miscellaneous with cast probably being the best one here, and then hyperlink is useful if you're data set has hyperlinks in it and then we've got text fields as well which are really powerful in conjunction with a conditional function so back in here onto our first function how are we going to do this so the way i'm going to calculate it into three different um three different categories this fair on the line item level is i'm going to add a field and i'm going to call this field fair category and this is going to be made from a case statement so when you're doing a case statement, it's just you start with case and then you have an else, you have an end. So that's a case statement. That's essentially the bare bones of a case statement. And then you use when for each case. So the else is going to be, if it doesn't match any of these cases, what I'm going to end the field as. And I'm just going to end the field as medium because I'm going to go when, which is each calculation right so when so i'm going to go when fair is greater than 50 bucks then high right so what this will do is that'll say when the fair is equal to 50 bucks it's a high fair when the fair and you can see that the fair is coming in this is the actual field category fair when the fair is lower than 15 bucks then it is a low fare. And when my case statement is valid, I'll get this little tick down below. So what this will do is this will create a new field called fair category, and then I can break this further out into um, high, low, and medium fares. I'm going to save this. And you can see my fair category is there now, and I can bring this into my calculation so i've got company and then i can put a fair category below that and then this breaks the data set out further so you can see like taxi affiliation services has medium and low there the top two take this out and then i'm going to go instead of fair we're going to look at the trip length in seconds so this will give all my companies again and the trip length in seconds. And I want to break this out um, for trips that are longer than five minutes or shorter than five minutes. And that's going to be broken out into a normal trip length and a short trip length. So again, I'm going to add fields. And this time I'm going to use an if statement. It's got an if statement here. And then in the if statement, I have trip in seconds. So the first one, so you can see in here, you've got a condition, you've got a true result and an else result. So if my trip in seconds is greater than 300 seconds, then that's going to be a normal trip. Else, it's going to be a short trip. I'm going to save this. That's done. And now what I can do is I can put this a uh, trip length category into my dimensions again and these are the normal trips and if i just sort by company you can see that chicago taxi only has short trips but yellow cab has normal and short trips and most of their trips would be normal trips so i'm going to go over another function uh, using the if statement and this is using an if statement and using it when it contains text. So you can see here from the companies, 
and we'll just leave seconds on this because it doesn't really matter, that a lot of the companies have either taxi or cab within their name. And you'd use a function like this if we wanted to say, right, every company with taxi in its name, let's just change that to a certain, a certain name. Um, everything with cab in its name, let's change that to a certain name. And that's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna add a field. And this is a trickier one. It's using two different, um, it's using two different functions. So we'll just call this um, new company. So what I'm doing is I'm reclassifying companies, whether they contain taxi in their name or cab in their name, right? So I'm gonna use an if again, but then I'm gonna use a function called contains text. So this is contains text. I want to search company for the words uh, taxi. And this gives me a, this could gives me a yes or a no. So what I'm gonna do is if we contain, if it contains taxi, then I'm gonna change the name of this to taxi affiliation services. So every company here that contains taxi, so dispatch taxi affiliation will change to taxi affiliation services. And then in the else side of this, so this is the if contains text, I'm gonna put another if statement. So I'm just gonna paste this in now to save me writing everything again. So what this is doing is that if it contains, if the company contains the text taxi, then taxi affiliation services. And then I'm doing another if statement in here. And this is kind of like an if else. Um, so there's another if statement. So in the else part of this, there's it's another if statement. So it's if the category contains the word cab, then we're gonna be calling it flash cab and then else just the company name. I'm gonna save this. I'm just gonna change company. Well, I'm actually gonna add new company in here so you actually see what's happened. So you can see in here, this used to be taxi affiliation services. It's still taxi affiliation services. This used to be flash cab, it's still flash cab. But then when we go down here, we have dispatch taxi affiliation, change to taxi affiliation service. We have a yellow cab, which has changed to flash cab because it contained cab. But Northwest Management LLC had neither taxi nor cab in the name, it stays the same as Northwest Taxi LLC. We're going to do a concatenation and a concatenation is simply just adding two fields together. So I'm just going to add these two together. We can just add, uh, we can just concat. And the best thing about calculated fields is that you can, can use calculated fields in your new fields. So I'm gonna type concat company, a new company into one field. Let's save that as uh, two comps. And what that will do is it'll concatenate into one field. So kind of useful if you've got categories and subcategories and you want to look at a more granular way, that's just a way to take two fields and, and bang them in together. Another very useful text function is replace. So what replace will do is it can replace the text within a field with another text. So again, same vein as we were looking at changing the company names, we can replace something within a company name as well. So say I don't like the word taxi anymore, I wanna rename all the companies with taxi in it to say cab instead of taxi. I could go in and put a new field in here and all I have to do is a function called replace and you've got your source, source expression, your search expression and your replacement expression. So I'm gonna look for company again. I am going to say taxi as my what I want to replace and I'm going to replace that with cab and I'm going to call this new company too I'm going to save this and my new company two field in here and you can see that taxi affiliation services has now changed to cab affiliation services so with the text with the text functions loads of stuff other stuff you can do you can trim off the the spaces you convert them to upper you can get substrings you can check if something starts with a certain uh, text string so it's very these are very very useful in order to clean your data and to create uh, new data fields so we've got trip total and we've got tips 
And if I wanted to, if I wanted to say, look at all the trips without, without tips, or what I can just do is I can do an arithmetic field in here, just add new field, we just call it total without tips. And you can do any calculations in here you want. So we do trips, trip total in here, we go minus tips, save that. You put that in there and there's your, your total without tips. And you can do lots of different things. You can do multiplication, you can do division, you can do um, addition, but it's just, it's very easy to kind of create calculated fields and create uh, new data points. One last thing I want to show in this is kind of the formatting and rounding, um, which is very useful as well. So if we wanted to go back in and change a uh, function, you just pick the FX. What I use a lot in Data Studio, especially when I'm getting data from weird places that has a million, um, which will have like a million um, numbers after the decimal point. So you can just round things to zero. There's also like a ceiling and floor um, if you want to use those to round. But if I update this now and save it, I'm going to round my totals without tips um, into no decimal points. In the next video, I'm going over date functions, and I hope you stick around for that. Hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you very soon for another Data Studio tutorial.